praise, give him all adoration. He alone is worthy. He alone is mighty. He alone is awesome. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be, blessed be. Blessed be your holy name. 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 Begin to reverence him a little more. Reverence him. Reverence him. Reverence him. Reverence him. Marasati evo shikarabo soti edekete. Reverence him. Reverence him. Reverence him. Reverence him. Reverence him. Give him the glory. Maka satari evo koso tiedekete evo. Marabo koso tiedekete evo tombo so tiedekete. Reverence him. Reverence him. Reverence him, reverence him. Mazindi eke masandarabasi karabatambo so chireke terebo tombo. Reka zandarabasi karabatambo so chireke terebo tombo. Rebo zondorobo si karabatambo so chireke te. Reka zandarabasi karabatambo so chireke te. Rebo zondorobo si karabatambo so chireke te. Mo so tireke mo zondorobo si karabatambo so chireke te. In Jesus' name, why don't you take more time to reverence this time around the spirit of the living God? Go ahead and reverence him. Make him feel welcome. Make him feel welcome in this place. Spirit of the living God. We welcome you in this place. We enthrone you on high. We empower you. 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 Marabo so tireke te re mazanda rabo si karaboto re kazanda rabo si karabatamba mozondo rabo si karabatamba re kazanda rabo si karabatamba eko so tireke te rebotombo we empower you reverence him reverence him reverence him re kazanda rabo si karabatamba moko so tireke te rebotombo cherish him. Spirit of the living God, Moroboko so mireke mazanda raba, reka zanda raba si karaboto moso chirekete, Morobozo norobo si karabatama, Morobozo norobo si karabatama, reka zanda raba si karabatamba so chirekete debo tombo, Rebozo norobo si karabatamba so chirekete debo tombo, Rebozo norobo si karabatamba so chirekete, Rebozo nororo koso chirekete debo tombo, Reverence him a little more, Makarabozo norobo si karabatamba so chirekete debo tombo, Reka zanda raba si karabatamba. So chirekete, rebo zondo robo si karabatambo. So chirekete, rebo zondo robo si karabatambo. So chirekete, reverence him a little more. Ma karabazanda robo si karabatambo. Reka zanda robo si karabatamba. Morobo zondo robo si karabatambo. So chirekete, reka zanda robo si karabatambo. So chirekete, morobo zondo robo si karabatamba. Rebo zondo robo si karabatamba. Mozondo robo si karabatambo so chirekete reka zanda raba si karabatamba reke se teke moko so chirekete rebo tombo rebo zondo robo si karabatamba morobo zondo robo si karabatamba reka zanda raba si karabatamba rebo zondo robo si karabatambo so chirekete morobo zondo robo si karabatambo so chirekete reka zanda raba si karabatambo so chirekete rebo tombo. We worship you, we exalt you, we magnify your name. Blessed be your holy name. Moko robo zondo robo si karabatamba. Reka zanda raba si karabatamba. So chireke te rebo tombo. Blessed be your holy name, O Lord. Blessed be your holy name, Father. Blessed be your holy name, O Lord. Blessed be, blessed be, blessed be your holy name, Jesus. 
Welcome, Holy Spirit. We hear in your presence. Live inside of welcome, welcome, Holy Spirit. We hear in your presence, fill us with your power. Live inside, say welcome, welcome, Holy Spirit. We hear in your presence, fill us with your power. Live inside of me. Welcome. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill us with your power. Living water, never dying fountain, comforter and counselor. Take complete control. Oh, oh, oh. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Mm-hmm. Fill us with your power. Live inside, say welcome, welcome Holy Spirit, Mm. we are oppressed, oh Lord, fill us with your power. Feel welcome in this place. We are in your presence. Fill us with your power. Live inside of your the living water. Never dying fountain. Never dying fountain. Take complete control. Fill us with 
with your
Blessed be your holy name, O Lord. Blessed be your holy name, Father. Blessed be your holy name, O Lord. Rebo zondo robo si karabatambo so chidekete. Rebo zondo robo si karabatambo so chidekete rebo tombo. Reke zende rebo si karabatambo so chidekete. Rebo zondo robo si karabatambo so chidekete. Emo zondo robo si karabatambo so chidekete rebo tombo. Rebo zondo robo si karabatambo. Give him more attention. More attention, more attention, more attention. Reka zanda raba si karaba tambo so chidekete. Rebo zondo robo si karaba tambo so chidekete. Holy aba si karaba tambo so chidekete. Blessed be your holy name, O Lord. Oh, how we worship you, Lord. Oh, how we worship you, Jesus. We worship you, we worship you, we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you. We reverence you, the Spirit of the living God. Mm. We reverence you, Lord. Oh, we adore you, Father. We adore you, my God. We adore you, we adore you. We adore you, we adore you, we adore you. We adore you, we adore you. Somebody just worship him a little more. If you have nothing to say, say, We adore you. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. We adore you. 
That same spirit on the day of Pentecost, we empower you in this place. Over our lives, we empower you. Come sweep over. Come, O oh Lord, bring about change in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' name. We have worshipped. Amen. And amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, celebrate the Spirit of God one more time. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. We are grateful to God. For the privilege to, to be gathered before him. Even as many of you that are watching online, you are so welcome. Hallelujah. You know, we don't take it for granted. You see, when the scripture says in uh, Psalm 65 uh, and verse number 4, that it is a blessed thing to be drawn into the house of God. Hallelujah. Blessed is the man or the woman that you cause to come into your house. Say, they shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house. Hallelujah. So to be able to be found in the house of God, in the presence of God, it is a blessed thing. You know, you may want to ask that what is that blessing? What exactly is that blessing? Hallelujah. I can say I cannot tell you because the needs that you have, I don't know, but God knows them. Hallelujah. Praise God. He will meet every need in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, was that not a rich worship from uh, Sister Daniela and the, and the entire team and the entire worship team hallelujah we commend you to God for that hallelujah praise the Lord amen in this uh, 
fast at least two months. We just want to sow them uh, uh, unto God. Hallelujah. As our own fast fruit. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I pray that we get ourselves into a deeper realm of worship. Hallelujah. Praise God. A deeper realm of worship. Amen. And this particular month and the next one, having been dedicated to the Holy Spirit, praise God. You know, uh, uh, we want to give the Spirit of God particular reverence. Hallelujah. Particular what? Particular reverence. Praise God. You know, particular reverence. You see, you know, when Jesus was about to depart, you know, when he was about to, def to depart, he said that I will not leave you. Uh, I will not leave you alone. I will not leave you alone. Praise God. I will send you a helper. Hallelujah. Praise God. I will send you a helper. Amen. Amen. And this helper is only for we, his people. Praise the Lord. For we, his people. Amen. Amen. John 14 and verse 15 to 17. The Bible says that if you love me, keep my commandments. 16. And I will pray the Father and he will give you another what? Another helper. That he may abide with you forever. That he may what? That he may abide with you forever. Amen? So you are not alone. Hallelujah. You are not what? You are not alone. Praise God. Amen? That he may abide with you for what? Forever. And who is that helper? The spirit of truth. Whom the world cannot receive. Because it neither sees him. Nor knows him. But you know him. For he dwells with you. And will be with you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Verse 18. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. Praise God. Amen. You see the spirit of the living God. You know. Quite often. Praise God. Unless we bring him into our our world, praise God, is like that person that is so close to us, yet always ignored, not given any attention, yes, not given any attention, not even recognized, praise God. Anybody ever suffered rejection? Eh? Hallelujah. Jesus is saying to us that he will abide with us, what? Always and forever. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. He is closer to us than our shadow. Praise God. Amen. He will abide with us and most importantly abide in us. Praise God. Amen. 
I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper. Jesus is saying that up until now, I have been your what? I have been your helper. I have been your helper. But I need to go. Amen. And when I go, I will send you another helper. He will abide with you forever. Amen. He will abide with you forever. Praise God. So characteristically in that, uh, in those few verses, one thing you notice about, about Jesus, Jesus is saying that as I have been a helper to you, I am going to send you another what? Another helper. Praise God. Amen. And therefore, you know, many people have referred to the Holy Spirit as it or something said to me something, hallelujah, the Holy Spirit is a person, praise God, is a what? Is a person, amen, in that verse 16, amen, you can see that he is referred to that he, as he, you know, that he may abide, he may what? He may abide, he the Holy Spirit may abide. That means that, you know, you know, he is a person. Praise God. Therefore, if he's a person, he has a personality. Praise God. He has a what? He has a personality. He has characteristics. Hallelujah. Praise God. He, will, uh, he may abide with you forever. The spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him. Amen? It neither sees him. Hallelujah. Nor knows him. But you know him for he dwells with you and will be with you. You see, there's something powerful packaged in those few verses. It says, you know, because the world neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him. Amen. So if you know him, he's talking to the disciples. Amen. <laughs> you could almost add that Jesus is saying you know him and you also see him. Praise God. And who is him here? Is Jesus in the way of the what? Of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. Because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him. For he dwells with you and will be with you. Up until now, it was Jesus that was what? That was dwelling with them. It's all that they saw. Hallelujah. Praise God. But he's saying that, you know, he will be with them in the world of the what? In the way of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Amen. In the way of the Holy Spirit. We are talking about uh, the Holy Spirit who is also referred to as the third person of the Trinity. Hallelujah. The third person of the Trinity. Praise God. The third person of the Trinity. That very person, amen, that Jesus referred to, praise God, amen, in Matthew 28, praise God, that when you baptize, baptize in the name of the what? In the name of the Father and in the name of the Son and in the name of the what? 
in the name of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Hallelujah. That third person in the what? In the Trinity. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Matthew 28, 19. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit. And in the name of the Holy Spirit, praise God. Hallelujah. That third person in the Trinity, praise God. Yet that third person of the Trinity is not any less of God, but he is God. According to John four, uh, chapter 4 and verse 24. John chapter 4 and verse 24. Amen. Bible say God is what? Is spirit. God is what? God is spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in what? In spirit and in truth. God is what? God is spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in what? In spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Is not any less, praise God, hallelujah, but God is one. Hallelujah. God is what? God is one. Praise God. Second uh, Corinthians 3. Three seventeen. Seventeen and eighteen. Now the Lord is what? Is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is what? There is liberty. Verse 18. But we all with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the same Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. How many of you want to be transformed? I want to be transformed. Praise God. Amen. I want to be transformed into the same image from glory to glory. Just as by the Spirit of the Lord. May the Lord transform you from glory to glory. In the name of the Lord Jesus. May the Lord transform you from carnality. Desire of this verse. Hallelujah. But we all with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image of the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. From glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. So, if you're the sort of person that has also been referring, calling the Spirit of God, it. Hallelujah. You know, stop it. Somebody says stop it. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh -uh. It told me, come on now. How would you feel if somebody referred to you as it? Hallelujah. Amen. You wouldn't feel good, would you? 
Yeah? You wouldn't feel good. Praise God. Now, how do you expect the Spirit of God to feel? Hallelujah. It wouldn't, it wouldn't also feel what? It wouldn't also feel, feel good. Praise God. It wouldn't also feel good. Praise God. Amen. How about the book of Romans 8 and verse 14? Hallelujah. Of, you know, this is just, you know, a build up to, uh, to the deeper learnings that we're yet to learn this month. Praise God. Amen. You know, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God, sons and daughters of God. Hallelujah. These are the sons and daughters of God. Praise God. Brothers and sisters, I have found so much comfort in this verse. Praise God. Especially when I've made decisions that I can't really, that I can't really explain. Praise God. When I've got to places and I don't know whether to turn to my left or to my right. Praise God. Hallelujah. I have found assurance and I tell you what, God has not failed me. Praise God. Amen. Because those who are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons and daughters of God. Turn the equation around. Sons and daughters of God are led by the Spirit of God, not by themselves. Hello? Not by what? Not by themselves. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, somebody who is being led, do they know where, where are they are going? Hallelujah. They don't always know where they are going. Why? Because they are being what? They are being led. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. We are being led by the God that knows the end from what? From the beginning. Hallelujah. So the next time you wonder, praise God. Amen. You know, how do I decide? How do I make this decision? Praise God. Hallelujah. Have some confidence in yourself. As long as you are confident and trust and know, yes, and know that you are a son and a daughter of God, then the Spirit of God is what? Is leading you. Praise God. He's leading you. I tell you what, even in stillness, he is he's actually telling you, do what? Stand still and see the salvation of God. Hallelujah. When it's time to go forward, he will speak to you as he spoke to Moses in Exodus 14. Or rather 15. Let's, read, let's, let's look, look at it. Hallelujah. Is somebody being blessed? Exodus 14 and verse 13. Bible say, and Moses said to the people, do not be afraid. Stand still. And see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptian you see now, you will see them what? You will see them no more. I tell you what, that was the time to what? To stand still. Praise God. When the time to go forward was needed, praise God, he still spoke to them and said, why are they still standing? You know, Tell the people to do what? To go forward. Hallelujah. Praise God. To go forward. He orders our what? He orders our steps. They that are sons and daughters of God are led by the what? Are led by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Your encouragement and my encouragement is to know your God. Hallelujah. They that know their God, they shall be strong. 
and they shall do what? And they shall do exploits. They that know their God, what is it that I know about my God? Is that I am a son and a daughter of God. Therefore, I am led by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. You are led by the what? By the Spirit of God. Praise God. How many of you are happy with where you are? With where you are? Praise God. Eh? I'm not telling you to be depressed. Praise God. Amen? Hallelujah. You see, sometimes we are caught up in looking at the negative and what, what, what is not moving. Praise God. But if I say to you that now begin to appreciate, you know, think about the things that you appreciate about where you are right now. Are you not grateful? Praise God. When David say that, you know, uh, that he orders the steps of the what? Of the righteous. Psalms 37 and verse number 23. Hallelujah. Praise God. That he orders the what? The steps of the righteous. Do we see that children of God are led, by, you know, the steps of the what? Of the righteous, of a good man, are ordered by the what? By the Lord. Do you know sometimes the, the prayer is simple. God, order my steps. Spirit of the Lord, lead me. Hallelujah. Lead me. Praise God. Lead me. Thou shall, will show me the path of what? The path of life. In your presence, fullness of joy. At thy right hand, thou will show me the what? The path of life. Praise God. Amen. In your presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand are pleasures evermore. Hallelujah. Thou will show me the path of what? Path of life. In your presence is fullness of what? At thy right hand are pleasures evermore. Psalm 16 and verse 11. Hallelujah. Amen. The Spirit of God leads the children of God. Children of God are led by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. You see, Jesus swore and said that I will never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. Now, it is impossible for God to what? To lie. Hallelujah. Now, if it is impossible for God to lie, then who does living? Hello? If God cannot leave us or forsake us, then who does the living? It's, unfortunately, it's we that do the what? The living. Praise God. It says in him, there is no shadow of what? Of turning. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Now, I want to save some time so that we can worship God and reverence and empower this Holy Spirit a little more in the way of worship. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want us to recognize that that And particularly in looking at this room, it's recognizing the role of the Holy Spirit. The role of the Holy Spirit in breakthrough. Hallelujah. The role of the Holy Spirit in achieving break what? Breakthrough. One of the most powerful and amazing breakthroughs that even scientists are grappling with is what we see in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Verse 1 and perhaps the whole book, the, the, the whole chapter of Genesis. Praise God. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the what? And the earth. 
verse 2, the earth was without what? Form and void. And darkness was on the face of the what? Of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Hovering over the face of the what? Of the waters. Only waiting for the word of God to go out so that the Spirit of God will begin to make light happen. Hallelujah. Will begin to divide the land from the waters. Praise God. Will begin to make the change that we know there is now. Hallelujah. The scientists call it someone, something else. For us, we call it the creative power of God by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. By the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. May the Spirit of God move on your behalf in the name of the Lord Jesus and cause a, a breakthrough for you in the name of Jesus. The other, you know, Jesus speaks to his disciples in Acts of Apostles, chapter 1, verse 7 and 8. Praise God. Acts of Apostles, Acts chapter 1, verse 7 and 8. And he, Jesus, said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has put in his what? In his own authority. And verse number 8, you know, but you shall receive power. When the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Praise God. He said to them, continue, that tarry here until you have been what? With end you've been endowed with power. Amen. And when the power of the Holy Spirit has come upon you, praise God, then you can go. Then you can go and do exploits. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray that this next six to eight weeks you will tarry and you will be empowered in the name of the Lord Jesus. Empowered for a breakthrough in the name of the Lord Jesus. Empowered for what? For a breakthrough. Praise God. I tell you what, after that experience, amen, that experience birthed what we call the church today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God.